Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. What's up, everybody? HTG Doug here again, checking out another Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag video. We're doing the third legendary ship battle called El M Impoluto. I don't know, I can't pronounce it. You get my point, though. It's it's a Spanish ship, big man of war again. So, yeah. So here we go. Uh, I'm just going to refill all my ammunition because I did all four of the battles like in sequence, in sequence, in sequence. So I had to repair my ship and refill my ammunition after each one. So uh, I just wanted to show you that, you know, you should do this before every battle because you will need it. And uh, yeah, just to just to show you, I have completed or upgraded the ship completely. Everything is co fully upgraded, even the uh, the storage and the harpoons. But you don't really need the harpoon for the legendary ship battle. But Anyway, so, uh, the El Impo, 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 uh, whatever he's called, is in the, uh, the northwest corner, uh, and yeah, so I'm going to fast forward to the fort, and we're going to head over there. So there you go, El Im, Impo, Impo, whatever. <laughs> I, it's, it's awful. Alright, so, this was probably the hardest battle I had until I figured out what to do. Once you figure out what to do, it's very easy. Oh, I'm sorry. This is not. The other one is the hardest one. <laughs> this Spanish ship is... Uh, this one was okay. It was kind of hard, kind of difficult. Um, took me only one try, though, so... Uh, probably second hardest. Eh, probably even third hardest, I would... No, second. Mm, yeah. So, right at the beginning, uh, he's... There, these, this ship is a very um, like up-close and personal type of ship, where... You know, some of the other ones are like mortar based or there's a two and stuff like that. This one's very in your face, attacking very close hand. So, um, when he does get a little far away from you, make sure you get out those mortars. Like I said, they don't do much damage, but they do do some. And I recommend using the ram if you can actually hit it. I missed just horribly. So, I don't, I just awful, awful, awful. But anyway, like I said, mortars when you're far away. Um, when you get close, make sure you use the heavy shot. Uh, basically, same rules apply as every other legendary ship. Uh, yeah, and when he comes at you like this, uh, just I found it best to stop, like completely, and then kind of swerve around him, and he'll kind of just move away from you. So, yeah, and I had a really bad shot right there. Ooh, that was awful. But uh, yeah, so I didn't really start off too well. I'm already down to about a bar, bar and like a quarter. And he still has about little over half of his health, so really, really bad start to this battle for me. So, uh, yeah, tr try to try to do a little better than me, and it should make it a little easier because it it gets really close here at the end, and you'll see I just get nailed. But luckily, it does a bunch of damage to him too. So, and I finally get those swivel points, so that takes away a lot of damage, and I get the fire barrels off, which do quite a bit as well. So, so yeah, like I see, it's it's pretty close, like. And I missed that mortar, so it made it even worse. But uh, he and he's also a very fast ship, so make sure you have to make sure you lead those mortars because he's really quick. And as he said, I get nailed again, but I get the ram this time, so that takes away a lot. And I get a heavy shot off there, and I get a swivel and a fire barrel. So, like I said, those fire barrels help. If I would have had one more on him, I think I would have destroyed him. So, and as you'll see here, the the mortar does it. So, oh. Uh, Oh, oh no, okay, sorry, one more mortar does it. <laughs> no, I missed again. Oh my god, this is awful. I should have had this battle over. So, maybe, okay, the mortar should have killed him, but my aim is awful, so... But but yeah, that that's basically what you have to do right there, is um, ram them when you can't. And now, after the battle's over, it's like, oh, hey, did you know you can use a charge attack by holding L1 and double tapping X? Whatever. Uh, Devil of the Caribbean trophy. There it is. We have completed all four. Um, yeah, I was kind of upset with the game. I was like, I'm sorry, now you're telling me I could have a sped up ram? Like, are we joking? Whatever. Uh, so, yeah. If you hold L1 and uh, double, it was double tap X, I believe, or it's uh, A on Xbox, um, you'll like speed up and the ram will do more damage. So, I strongly re recommend doing that. As long as your timing is right, it should be fine. And uh, if you're wondering why I'm still showing you this, it's because um, I've had a few people say that they couldn't get the, the reals from the loot. Like, the loot wasn't popping up or whatever. Because you'll see on the on the mini-map, like, it's there. But I go over it, and it's, like, nothing there. Like, I can't loot it or nothing. And that's actually because uh, it's actually off. You'll see to the right up there, like, at the front of the ship, 
and well now it's to the right, is the loot. So the mini map indicator is a little bit off. So if you can't find it for some reason, that's that's why. Um, yeah, I had a few people, or I've seen a few people say that they couldn't get the loot. So if you can't find it for whatever reason, then try to just look around the area. It might be somewhere else, and the indicator might just be off a little bit. But so that's all four of the ship battles. Like overall, two out of the four were really easy. The three and four were eh. So I expected them to be a little harder, but they are still a challenge. And I did have to repeat two of them two or three times before I finally figured out what I was supposed to do. So uh, hopefully these will help because, like I said, some of them were really difficult until I figured out exactly what I had to do. And once I figured it out, they were super easy. So hopefully the strategies that I did or I worked with will work well for you. And hopefully you just found them all useful. So uh, uh, thanks for watching. Um, and yeah, uh, we should have, I'll have a Wild West Indies trophy video up soon if it's not up already. It's more of a bonus video just for fun. Uh, I just like the trophy. So I'm going to do that really quick. But that's about it for the series. So um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, and yeah, check out the Wild West Indies trophy achievement video. If it's not up, it'll be up soon. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, uh, make sure you follow us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and like and subscribe to us on YouTube. And go check out our Google Plus page because we're doing some stuff over there too. So uh, I hope you guys had a fun series and I'll see you guys soon.